Thanks to one banana phone one for the follow. Okay, so So you can scale this one. This one is not scaling invariant. So you can assume the first term is one or the larger term is one or whatever you want. Um Seven. Also, I guess the ants. Let, let me just try some terms. Um, one. If I start, look, there's a few ways we can start. Like one, and then some large number, like let's say ten. Then the next term is nine, one, eight, seven, one, six. Wait, oh shoot, it goes the other way. No. All right, one, ten. So, it's positive of real numbers. It's like the previous. So, if I have something less than something like this, this could be nine or eleven. But if I pick the larger one, then you always, the next term has to be the sum, which is 20. Okay, so in general, if I have, suppose a less than b are two consecutive terms, then you can go a, b, and then it could be a plus b, so that's fine, you have, it grows. Or you have a, b, b minus a. And then b minus a, What's the example I was trying earlier? It's like b minus a is less, so the next one has to be two b minus a. Is that right? Because you can't do negative. Okay, so roughly, I guess what can happen is if I have a comma b, I can go to b comma a plus b, or if I have a comma b, I can go to b minus a to b minus a. And I want to show that the sequence kind of blows up in this case. Thanks, WWT7534 for... Is that a... Yeah, the one bit here. Thanks, AOPS5234. Use matrices. <laughs> We could use matrices. Um, <sighs> Thanks for the one bit cheer. If you look at the term after a plus b, I mean, it's the same situation, right? Like what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get to situations where a is less than b um, so that I don't have to think about the cases. Um, yeah, so let's look at the matrix. Why not? Uh, one of them is the matrix. If I So if I write the column matrix a, b, the first matrix is what? Zero. Let's get this right. One, one, one. And the other matrix is something else. It's uh, 
Okay, let's get this right. Minus one, and then this is minus one, one, two. Is that right? Something's wrong, because this doesn't have positive determinant. So... Maybe this one doesn't have positive determinant. Um, I, I'm multiplying it right on. Okay, let, let me actually write the column matrix next to it so I can think about it a little more easily. So the first one is minus one, one. Is that right? Did I mess that up? I think that still doesn't look right to me. Honestly. I think that's right? Okay. <laughs> then I'm a little weirded out by this. I guess there's like this A less than B thing, right? That I didn't really take into account. So maybe I should do like X and then X plus Y or something. So, 2x plus y, and here if I do xx plus y, this one becomes y, and then 2 times b minus a is x plus 2y. So if instead of writing a comma b, I write x and x plus y, then I can write it this way instead. And this is easier to think about, I think. This, is, this matrix here is 1, 1, 2, 1. I think the x, y idea is honestly the right one, though. Like, I think that matters more than the matrix. Uh, 0, 1, 1, 2. So I'm multiplying on, so... Represent the state of this, represent each situation. So starting from x comma x plus y, I can either go to this thing or this thing. So it's equivalent to multiplying on this matrix or that matrix, right? Wing minus one. Why do both matrices have determinant minus one? Don't am I am I not expecting things to just get bigger? Hmm. Like this one clearly makes it increase. Why did the matrices have determinant one? I really wanted them not to. Well, we found out that uh, auto mod can block Chinese. <sighs> oh my god. What is all this garbage? All right. Um, Unfortunately, when I delete messages in the actual chat, it doesn't get reflected in the on the little stream, which is unfortunate. Um, it's fine. Okay, where was I? So this is where I like, wish I knew my linear algebra is better. Well, we, the terms are positive by definition. What we want is the terms to increase, right? Like I, I have a positive vector and I'm multiplying it by matrix with positive coefficients. When will we start ISL problems? These are ISL problems. <laughs> Surprise. Uh, but what I need is for them to grow without bound in some way, like, I 
I need either X or Y to... Oh, 2004. Oh, that's so funny. Okay, I'll write a short list. Like... Does Y just increase? Is that the claim? Yeah, Y doesn't actually, the... Oh, sorry, I also just messed up. Oh, jeez. These are the wrong mage. Okay, okay. Um, X comma X plus Y goes, so... It's so... I'm using two different notations, so it's really confusing. Um, X plus Y, Y. Wait, I'm so confused now. Uh... What is going on? Um, thanks to Hamito for the sub. So the ordered pair X, Y goes to the ordered pair X plus Y comma Y. Okay, so it's it's this one. That's why I was so, it was so weird. Um, or, no, it's actually X. This is determinant. They all have determinant 1. Why do they all have determinant 1? Okay, and then the other one goes to uh, X, Y. That one's fine, but it's like X plus Y. So... I can represent situations, like states, as ordered pairs X, comma, Y, where X is the term and X plus Y is the term after it. And from there, I'm allowed to either go to x plus y comma y or x comma x plus y and since x and y are integers that means it increases without bound at the end i think sorry am i am i a crazy person so so we get like X plus two. Like I, I think this just solves it, right? Am, am I crazy? X Y and then X plus. Plus y and then y and then this is the 2b minus a is 2x x plus 2y so i'm going to use angle brackets for the different situation just because right now it's very ambiguous what's going on so if i have three consecutive terms a and b what's happening is i have a b i can go to a plus b so this is the transition that takes x y to um, y, x plus y in the angle notation. And here, if I have x, y, this is the thing that goes to um, y, x plus y. Sorry, ah, this is x. I keep messing it up. So this is x, y, x. 
So what I'm doing is for every consecutive term, I'm as I'm associating an angle back bracket here, and the transitions is if I have if I go to a plus b, that becomes this, and then if I go to um, b minus a to b minus a, that becomes like this. So in the angles, it's obviously increasing, right? Because it's actually a Euclidean algorithm. It just kind of goes up. So the angle brackets are unbounded, therefore the original ordered pair is unbounded. Yeah, like it's just increasing, right? Am I crazy? So I don't even need this matrix garbage. Like they all have determinant one anyways. I was trying to do something big brain like, oh, the determinant is positive, so that will, or it's greater than one, so it will force it to be increasing. But if you just look at this angle bracket invariant, I think it just works. Like, I don't think there's anything else I need to do. Someone check if I made a mistake somewhere, because this feels very strange. Yeah, but I think the sum, like, the, in the angle notation, the sum just increases, so... Are you checking the solutions from Otis lectures? Um, yes. I've had a longer backlog than usual, so it's slower. Like, it takes me, like, a day to get to it instead of, like, 12 hours on average. <laughs> with, with some rage. I think there's some that I've sat on for, like, two days, and then I felt really bad. But there's just so many now. Yeah, this just works, right? Though I, I think we're fine. All right. I mean, I think it was, it was just like you t you focus on a term that's less than another term, and then like it's like okay, well, <laughs> like I guess I guess that just works. You you re 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 parameterize everything. It's like I focus I focused on a less than b because I didn't want to think about cases, and it was equivalent to the problem anyways. And then I was like, well, the initial thing I wrote didn't really look that easy to think about, but I wasn't using the a less than b, so now I just look at angle bracket x comma y. Um, and then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right, moving on. Wow, we might actually... We are really moving quickly today. The problems are just like kind of falling apart. I have to do the combo now, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was expecting to get through like two to three poems because I only allocated 90 minutes for math today instead of the usual two hours. Um, but... What's up with 2004? I don't know. I, like, what happens now is I scroll through the shortlist for problems I haven't done before and then I just found four of them in 2004. I'm like, oh, I guess that 